Will you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Here. Councilmember Burkett? Here. Councilmember Wassinger? Here. Councilmember O'Mara? Here. Councilmember Dolan? Here. Councilmember Stanger? Here. Councilmember Quinn? Here. Madam Chair, we have a quorum. Thank you. I move for approval of the journal of the meeting of April 30th, 2013. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The journal is approved. A motion to suspend the rules is in order for the following presentations by County Executive Charlie A. Dooley. A proclamation to Herb Bernson, Director of the Department of Justice Services, and to the staff of the Department of Justice Services acknowledging National Correctional Employee Week, and a proclamation pertaining to Adolescent Vaccination Awareness Month to be presented to the Gateway Immunization Coalition. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Motion carries. The rules are suspended. Proclamation, St. Louis County, Missouri. Whereas the correction officers of the Department of Justice Service have helped to make our community safer through both inc incarceration and rehabilitation, and whereas on a daily basis these professionals protect over 1,200 inmates from violence and teach them the vital skills they need to survive in life after completing their sentence, and whereas these often unsung heroes of the criminal justice process are a valued and integral part of the law enforcement community, and whereas in every part of the incarceration process from intake to release, these officers are dedicated to completing the task according to the stringent guidelines set forth by the American Corrections Association, now, therefore, I, Charlie A. Dooley County, Executive, St. Louis County, Missouri, do hereby proclaim the week of May 6th through May 12th, 2013, as Corrections Professional Week in St. Louis County. side by side these officers you see in the room today and also those officers that are now present. When I was chosen to be employee of the year by my co-workers, I was honored. And I knew this day was forthcoming. <laughs> part of me was nervous and part of me was excited. I wasn't nervous because of the size of my audience, nor was I nervous because I would not be prepared. I was nervous because I would be representing a group of special individuals, individuals that are special to the Department of Justice Services, special to the field of corrections, special to the community, and special to me. Once the nervousness was gone, the excitement kicked in. I am now excited that I get to talk about my co-workers. There are too many words and not enough time to describe a corrections officer, but to name a few, the corrections officer is brave, courageous, honorable, caring, and committed. Not everyone can be a correctional officer. This career may not be the most glamorous at times, 
nor does it come with all the bells and whistles. It does come with honor and respect. I know because I'm honored to wear this badge, this uniform, and I respect all of those who work within corrections. So on behalf of the men and women of St. Louis County Department of Justice Services, we would like to thank all of you for being here today with us as we receive this recognition proudly. Thank you. St. Louis County, Missouri, whereas the Gateway Immunization Coalition mission is to save lives and improve health by eliminating vaccine preventable diseases, and whereas the Gateway Immunization Coalition is a partnership of public and private entities established to increase the number of individuals fully immunized, to disseminate information about vaccines, and to advocate for sound immunization policy, and whereas the Adolescent Committee of the Gateway Immunization Coalition is providing educational opportunities on the importance of adolescent immunizations throughout the month of April, now therefore I, Charlie A. Dooley County Executive, St. Louis County, Missouri, do hereby proclaim May 1st, 2013 through May 31st, 2013 as Adolescent Vaccination Awareness Month in St. Louis County. Okay, bid openings. We have no bid openings this evening, so we'll move to communications. Madam Chair, there are no tax compromises or zoning matters this evening, so we'll move to road and bridge matters. Under road and bridge matters, item number one, six district. Receive file plan specifications and detailed estimate of cost be approved, and the director of procurement be authorized to advise for bids as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to other communications, item number one, all districts. Receive and file, and that will be the order. Item number two. <coughs> Receive, file, and the county counselor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. Item number three. Receive and file, and that will be the order. Item number four. 
receive file and the reappointments be approved as requested and that same motion is for item number five. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number six. Uh, let's see. Receive file and the matter be held on the order of business and referred to the council as a committee of the whole and that will be the order. Item number seven. Receive file and the reappointments be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number eight. Receive and file and that will be the order. Item number nine. Receive file and the reappointment be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Item number 10. Uh, receive and file and that will be the order. Item number 11. Receive file and the reappointment be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Item number 12. Receive file and the county councilor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. Same motion for item number 13 and that will be the order. Item number 14, 6th district. Receive file and the county councilor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. And I have the same motion through item number 16. So ordered. Uh, please read the add-ons. Item number one. Receive and file, and that will be the order. Okay. Uh, Mr. County Executive. Madam Chair, no report. Okay. Let's see, no reports of special committees this evening, so we'll move to the public forum. We have one speaker, Tony Grasso. Good evening, Tony Grasso. Um, I am a real estate developer by trade, a tax lawyer by training. I have an LLM in taxation. And I'm just gonna ask the, the first couple of remarks not be uh, included in the in my three minute uh, uh, three minute time span um, I want you to know based on my own personal experience and you probably don't get too many speakers uh, at the podium that that can say this but based on my own personal experience your uh, your correction officer staff is excellent um, and uh, mrs. Hill is was especially especially uh, uh, professional another group of unsung heroes is your medical staff. You know, it really wasn't funny for me. I missed my second, I only have one child, and I missed her second Easter. Another group of unsung heroes at the county jail is the medical staff. The medical staff is professional, non judgmental, and uh, I went in in very uh, uncomfortable circumstances with uncontrolled diabetes, and they took very good care of me and got me all uh, situated by the time I was released. Now for my uh, presentation, or perhaps rant, as some people may describe it. I've distributed a copy of Ordinance 610. Its state law component is 701. The following scenario could occur in any one of at least four creeks, and I've, I've notified you of four, all located within two miles of South County Government Center and owned by my family's real estate company. I'm going to focus on our family homestead, <coughs> which our Grasso family has owned and continuously occupied for about 100 years. And it's the nine acres that remain of my grandparents' farm. I think that, I think that's an, uh, testifies that uh, my family prefers South County and <coughs> Union Road to uh, Catania, Sicily. Here's the situation. A child is exploring the creek in sinkholes down for, downstream from Jerry Alderfugel's home in Bellwood. Or let's say my past state representative's grandchild is exploring that same creek that borders grandma's backyard, and she lives at the end of Bellwood. That child has an open wound. It's exposed to the creek water. Or let's say they touch their mouth with their hand that's moist with creek water. They get sick and they are diagnosed with fecal E. coli contamination. Then, these par their, this child's parents learn that our family has been violating Ordinance 610 at 3515 Union Road since 1970. That's our family's problem. That's our company's problem. 
But then those parents learn that I informed this body about this situation in the summer of 2008 and the summer of 2009. I tried to correct that situation. The consequences drew some snickers. Now, whose problem is that? After, those, after that child's parents find out that St. Louis County was made aware of this five years ago. My family has violated Ordinance 610 at at least four locations, the four that I've told you, for about 170 years total. The penalties are on the last page. I ask that at least these sites be remediated. Last year, I, last, year last week, I closed with the phrase, no responsibility, no accountability. At that time, I was referring to Mr. Zimmerman's office in Grant's form matter. This week, I'll close with that same, those same words. But this week, I'm talking about my family and our family company. I've uh, highlighted the most relevant portions of Ordinance 610. Um, if I still have some time, um, <coughs> My 701 lawsuit, um, I can't I get my sister served, and uh, I let Mr. Sifton's office and Ms. England's office know that they can get involved in that situation since there's no pending litigation once their legislative session is over. Thank you. Thank you. Introduction of bills. Bill number 102, introduced by Councilmember Burkett, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract with Millman Incorporated to conduct a compensation study of all county job classifications, appropriating $175,000 from the unappropriated balance of the general fund for support of the contract. Bill number 103, introduced by Councilmember Burkett, an ordinance authorizing and directing the county executive to execute, deliver, an intergovernmental cooperation agreement with the Economic Council of St. Louis County, SLCEC, the City of St. Louis, Missouri, the City, and St. Louis Development Corporation, SLDC, concerning the combination of existing SLCEC and SLDC business development, business finance, and entrepreneurial support services, prescribing and approving the form and details of said cooperation agreement, and authorizing other related actions in connection with the implementation of said cooperation agreement. Bill number 104, introduced by Councilmember Burkett, an ordinance amending Chapter 113, Title I, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 is amended to design bill projects by repealing and reenacting Section 113.010 pertaining to definitions. Madam Chair, that is all the best. Thank you. Um, perfection of bills. Bill number 8, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara. <coughs> Hold on the order to this. So ordered. Bill number 93, introduced by Councilmember Stanger. Uh, I move to perfect bill number 93. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 93 is perfected. Bill number 94, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. Uh, I move to perfect bill number 94. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 94 is perfected. Bill number 95, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. I move to perfect bill number 95. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 95 is perfected. Bill number 96, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. I move to perfect bill number 96. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 96 is perfected. Bill number 97, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. I move to perfect bill number 97. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 97 is perfected. Bill number 98, introduced <coughs> by Councilmember Burkett. I move to perfect bill number 98. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 98 is perfected. Bill number 99, introduced by Councilmember Stanger. I move to perfect bill number 99. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 99 is perfected. Bill number 100 introduced by Councilmember <coughs> Wassinger. I move to perfect bill number 100. Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 100 is perfected. Bill number 101 introduced by Councilmember Burkett. I move to perfect bill number 101. Second. 
All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 101 is perfected. <coughs> Excuse me. Final passage of bills. Bill number 90, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. At this time, I move for final passage of bill number 90. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill number 90, there are seven ayes. Bill number 90, 90 is finally passed. Bill number 91, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. I move for final passage of Bill number 91. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill number 91, there are seven ayes. Bill number 91 is finally passed. Bill number 92, introduced by Council Members Irby, Burkett, Wassinger, O'Meara, Dolan, Stanger, and Quinn. At this time, I move for a final passage of Bill number 92. Second. Uh, roll call, please. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Burkett? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Meara? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Stanger? Aye. Council Member Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill number 92, there are seven ayes. Bill number 92 is finally passed. Moving on to resolutions, Madam Chair, we have none this evening, so we'll move on to unfinished business. Under unfinished business, item number one. Uh, hold on the order of business, and that will be the order. Item number two, fourth district. Same motion. Uh, so ordered. And moving on to new business, Madam Chair, we have two prepared orders this evening. I move for adoption of orders number one and two. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Order one and two are adopted. Will we adjourn? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you.